Okay, so uh, let's start with that. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay. Okay, okay. So, um, this assignment is coming from um, last week, what I gave you. I've marked it, those who submitted, I've marked that, okay? So you can see your score. So I'm picking this one, it's from uh, Franklin. You did this work, okay? So I want to explain it where for you to actually know. So next time when you are doing it, you know uh, what to do. Okay, so the number that we had was six, six times, six times seven. And we are supposed to find the answer, which we don't know. So the idea behind this robotic mathematics is to how you can use your brain to solve math questions without having any difficulties. Now, you realize from here, you want to do this, this is a multiplication um, question, six times seven. Actually, you might, if you know your timetable, it's easy for you to put the answer there. But let's assume if you don't know your timetable, how are you going to solve this? Okay. So from our previous experience, um, we just look at the number, which is, uh, now when you look at this one is six, this one is seven. Now in whole number, you can see that this one is closer to 10. This one is closer to 10. So we will pick our number, which we call reference number, should be 10. So you write your reference number down there, which is 10. In your show work, I want to see this. Now, the answer is what we gave you was 6. So you ask yourself, 6 minus 10 will give me a 4. So it means that you have your 4 here. You need your 4 here. Okay. And I said you put your negative sign here. Why, why are you putting a negative sign? So it means that 4 also minus 10 will give you 6. So you draw your circle for this. Okay. Now you ask yourself again. 7 minus this will be your 3. So you write your 3, negative 3 there. Okay, then you underline, you put it into your, okay, so now it means 3 minus 10 will give us a 7, so we are right from here. So if I'm marking, I'll mark this side, I'll mark this, your reference number, because the question was try to use a reference number, so I'll mark this, I'll give you mark for this, I'll give you mark for this. Okay, now you have to proceed. The next thing is you do cross root. As you all, you all know that when you have this, you have to do the cross root. Okay, so let's, let me 
maximize my screen a little bit so that you can see. Yeah, can you see my screen? Hello, you can see, okay. So now we have this, okay. So I'm going to show you this part. So this part is, we been able to use the crossroad or crossroad will be this. This one, you can either do it or not. It means that we subtract this from this, we subtract this from this. So three minus this will give us what, three. So you write your three here. This one, four minus seven is also three. So that is all. Now you can see your reference here is 10. So you multiply by this, okay? But what I'm saying is, because it's one and it's zero, just put your zero here. Just put your zero here. And that's all. So now we have 30. So now we come to the down part. Now, 4 times this is 12, right? But you can see it's what? Negative 4 times negative 4. In your uh, normal math that you do, it will be negative times negative is positive. So you know that you have what? Plus here. Then this one will give you what? This time this will give you 12. So 1. Two. Okay, you underline nicely. Then you do a simple addition, which means that this plus this is what? Two. This plus this is what? Four. So answer is what? 42. Okay, this is what I want to see. You have to show work like this. So when I'm marking, I'll mark here, mark here, mark here, mark here, mark these ones. And before I'll mark your final answer. But when you use your calculator, how will I know that you really understand the concept? This one, um, as time goes on, you use your mind to solve. But for now, I want you to show work for me to see. So you can either use, write it in your book or with a pencil or pen, whatever you are using. Show work like this. Then you can take your phone and scan it to me. If you using the computer, it will be difficult for you. Okay? So just use the book. Show work like what I'm doing here. Then once you are done, you take your phone, you scan, you take a screenshot, and then you submit it to me. Now, the first one that we did, you realize we are not using the reference because when you multiply here, 4 times 3 is giving us a double digit. Okay, so if we place this double digit here, assuming we just wrote the 3 here, and then the 4 times this, we, we write it well, like this. You realize that the answer will be wrong. Okay, because 6 times 7 is not 312. Is wrong okay so to be able to solve this issue anytime you multiply the die you are getting two digits it means you have to use the reference number so to avoid yourself getting this problem we always use the reference number okay for now use the reference number when you see that the down is just a simple um, digit a single digit that you receive the answer you can just forget about the this but now you are seeing that down, we are going to get a double digit product down. So it means that you need to make use of your reference number so that you can add and get the answer. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. So I believe all of you, so you can see here, Franklin got the answer right. They had this one, 4, which is there, 3, which is there, and straight away, 42. How will I know that actually you did not use calculator? So I'll mark you all right. I'll give you mark, but 
you won't score the full mark if you're able to do this you will score the full mark okay so some of you can see that you all this question you use calculator i'll mark you i'll give you some mark but you will never receive the full mark okay you will never receive the full mark so take note of this okay all of you take notes of this so next time you don't repeat um this again okay um now sharing do you understand now okay so um i want us to proceed we did the hundred is the same okay is the same so i want us to move forward to solve more question okay so um let's move on to um we have done with the module three actually we are done with module three so we have to move to module four this is what we did and i gave you the work okay so i gave you assignment to solve for me okay so all of the if you last week were with us you should see if you are not with us you can go over and check the assignment what we did and then you write it down now when i'm solving this like this on the board you can write it in your book if you have your book there just make sure you write them down so that you can follow up and do the work okay now so um we are done with the um let's see where we've got into last thing we did the hundred multiply number um did we do multiply number above 100 i'm not sure we did that let me see um okay we are done with no okay so now um what we will be doing today is to proceed to uh model three right I think we are done with the module two so today we start with module three okay now what we will be doing today is the numbers above the reference number now the reference number that we pick is let's say 10 so the number or maybe if our reference number is 100 so the number that we are picking is above the reference number how do we solve this okay so for instance we have 13 times 15 you realize it's above our reference number okay which is 10 so how do we solve a question like this okay so how do we solve a question like this so let's see how we can uh, solve this okay so um let me clean my board so that here will be neat okay so uh we have this okay which is 13 and then 15 these two numbers are above the reference number that we are talking about so both 13 and 15 are above the reference number 10 okay so we draw the circle above the numbers instead of below as we have been doing how much above above 10 are they so now we think about what three three and what five okay so as you can see here this time instead of writing down we are writing it up then you realize that before we add negative now this time is what plus meaning that is above 10 okay so we still have our reference number being 10 because the, this number is we are closer to what 10 they are not close to what 20 if they are close to 20 we will deal with 20 but now you realize that they are close to what 10 so now we write them up so you can see here we have our three up 
it means that 3 plus 10 will give us what? 13. Then we have reference number being 10, which means that 5 plus 10 will give us what? 15. Okay. So now that we have this one uh, sorted out, as before, as before, we now go cross way. That's 13 plus 5 or 15 plus 3 is 18. So we have this, which is what? This and this. So here we have for 13 plus what? 5 and then here 15 plus 3. In, uh, in each case, the answer will be 18. Okay. So the difference now is because it's above the reference number, we are writing it up and we apply the positive pair. So this is the new thing that we are learning. Apart from that, any other thing here, you already know. Okay. So we then multiply the 18 by the reference number, which we know. So now the answer that we receive when we do the cross we is 18. So now we do multiply by our reference number. So the answer we will get is to we get um, 180. Okay. So either way, you can just add the zero as I told you. It's the same thing. Okay. So now we know that our answer is 180. So now we have 180 here. Okay. So for the last step, we multiply the numbers in the circles. So these are the numbers that we have in the circle. Okay. This is the number that we have in the circle. So we multiply these numbers that we have in the circle. Okay. So 3 times 5 equals what? 15. Add 15 to 180. So what our answer be is that 195. So because we are multiplying positive times positive, the answer is positive. So plus 15, you put it down there, as you can see. Then you do a simple addition. Okay. So now the answer will be 195. So if I have been given 13 times 15, I should be able to give the answer to this question. Okay. So um, this is a new approach that today we've learned from our previous class. So if the numbers we are multiplying is above the reference number, we put the circle above. So you keep this one. This uh, I want you to write this thing somewhere. If the numbers we are multiplying is above the reference number, we put the circle above. If the number is below the reference number, if the number is below the reference number, we put the circle below. Okay? In other way, if you are putting the circle below, we add negative. If you are putting the circle above, we add positive. So if the circle is above, we add our diagonal, as you can see. If the circle is also, number is below, we subtract diagonally, as you can see. So what we did here, in our previous class, you realize that diagonally, because there is negative here, we subtract Hello. Hello. Yes, please. Yeah, good evening. I'm being paid to in the cell. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Okay. I'm in the class when I'm done. Hello, yeah. Um, sorry for that. So now um let's continue from here. So now the secret I want you guys to know is when we have the circle above you realize that we didn't subtract, okay? We add, because there's plus here, so we add. When there's the circles, they are below, we see there will be negative there, so diagonal, the cross, we, we subtract. So this is the secret that you have to know, okay? So you subtract the diagonal when they are below, okay? Now, so the numbers in the circle are plus numbers, and the numbers in the circle belows are minus numbers that's one thing you have to know so just keep this in your mind when the circles are above then you think that you add plus to it when you are writing the circle below you add what minus to that okay so let's see how we can solve this one now we have 12 times 17 okay so Let's see how we can uh, solve that question. 12 times um, 17. How can we solve that? So um, with my, I'll open here. So I have here 12 times 17. Okay. Now, very soon you'll be doing this in your mind okay you'll be doing this in your mind let me uh let me come down small so that Okay, so now I am here. So the question is 12 times 17. Now, we have this one. How do you solve that? If our reference number that we are picking is 10. Okay, so now you know that because they are above 10, you write your circle above. Okay, so now you will know that this one is what? 2 plus this will give you that. So plus 2. Okay, then here you also know that this one is what? Plus for 7. which means that 10 plus 7 will give you 17, okay? So when you are done, you have your equal sign here, as you already know, okay? So now we diagonal, cross way, we add, okay? So this plus this will give you as what 19. So now what you can do is just add 2 to 7. So 2 plus 7 will give you what 9. Then you have your one there, so now you are going to get one here, nine. Okay, so this is how you go about it. Now here, seven plus 12, you also have to do seven plus two, will give you nine. 
so you add your one which is also 19 okay so this how always you have to find a way of solving this kind of addition don't be struggle it's in 7 plus 12 then you'll be using your fingers or whatever no straight away pick the least number here because this one is in ones this one is also in ones so now 7 plus 2 is what 9 then you add it to this so which you're going to be on 19 so you write your one then you write if this one because there's this one is in ones so 7 you do the same thing okay you add 2 to the 7 which is 9 then you write your one there and you are gone don't struggle and be thinking and all those things so always you find an easy way to solve math question that is the approach find an easy way to solve math question so now that we are done with this part the next thing is we know this so we multiply with our reference number so 10 times 19 you just add your zero because one times any number is what is the same number so now here we are going to get 190 okay 190 so now that we are done with this we have to do this top okay the multiplying the top so two times seven okay two times seven either you can want to use the cross other way you can break this one down if you want you can still break this one down okay so two times seven as you know you have your answer here So this plus this is what four. This plus this is ten, which is zero. Then you carry one, you add it to it, which gives us what two. Okay, so you know that twelve times this will give us this. Okay, now let's continue. So from here we are trying to solve this part as you can see here we have our 90 here what we just did you saw it there so now we because we multiply by that then we have to do the multiplication of this so the answer will be this okay very simple okay very simple so um i want to see how you can solve these things yourself the question below this one yourself let me pick one here and then i'll call one person to help us solve that okay so i have a question here 12 times 15 okay 12 times 15 you should be able to give us the answer actually you know that it's above the reference number that we are picking here is 10 they are all below so we know our reference number that we will be picking is 10 okay we are picking 10 as our reference number so with this 12 times 15 so 12 times 15 let's see how to solve that 12 times 15 so 12 times 15 let 12 okay let me bring it down so i have here 12 times 15 okay so 12 times 15 who can help us uh franklin can you hear me yes, okay franklin kindly help us to solve this question 
12 times 15. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so my two circles on top, okay. So I have my two circles here, okay? Uh-huh. Okay, so my reference number that I'm picking is 10, okay? So I have my reference number here, uh-huh. Okay, 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 so plus two. Why are we writing plus two? So, so we know that, but why are we writing the plus two? And then why are we also putting our, uh, uh, the, uh, the circle above? The reference number. Okay, okay. So they are bigger than the reference number. So everything will go up. And then in the app, we use the positive, right? Okay, that's good. So now, um, what else again? So from here, mm -hmm. so plus five. Okay, so I'll put my five here. Okay. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Seventeen. Okay. So here I'm receiving seventeen from here. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Ten. Okay. So seventeen. Okay. So I have my one hundred and seventy here. Okay. That's good. Then what else again? Okay. So plus two and plus five. So um, which it will give you ten. Okay. So now uh, let me clean here. So I have my 10 here. And because it's addition, so I need to bring my addition sign. Okay. So you do a simple addition down there. Okay. 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 Okay, so the answer is 180, that's good, that's good. Thank you very much, Franklin. So let's pick another number and I'll pick someone to help us. Okay, so I have 13 times 14. So 13 times 14, uh, it's a require here. Erika, can you hear me? Hello. Is Erika here? Okay. Sharon, can you hear me? Hello. Okay, Sharon. So. You are going to solve this for us, okay? 13 times 14, okay? So let's see how you do that for us. So let me clean the board. Let me clean the board. So Franklin, help us with the first one. So I have 13. Sorry, let me calm down a little bit. So. so I have 13. Thirteen times 
14. Okay, Serene, what will you do? Can you walk us through? Okay, so why are we putting the circle at the top? It's what? Positive. What do you mean by positive? Now, do you consider your reference number? So, 10. So, it means that you ask yourself, the number you are multiplying is above your old reference number, right? So, that is the reason why we are putting the circle above. Are you okay with that? Okay, so if, assuming the numbers are below the reference number, where will you put your circle? Down, okay. Okay. So now, other thing. So now, take continue. Now, uh -huh. Plus. Okay. Plus three. Okay. Why are you writing plus three? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. That's good. So let's move to the next one. Class four. Okay. Okay. So why? Okay, okay. So what next? Okay, so you do your crossway. Okay, so let's do our crossway. Okay, so what's uh huh? Okay, so 13 plus 4 is what? Seventeen. Okay. So the simple way is always when you have two numbers here, this one is a single digit. So just straight four plus the three will give you seven. Then you write your one and you write your seven. Okay. Are you okay? Okay, so this one will be the same thing. Okay, single. So you do the last one, which is four plus what? Three. We'll give you a seven. Then you write your one in front, and you are done. I hope you're okay with that. Yeah. So make math very simple. So now we are done with this. So what next? Okay. Okay, so okay, okay, okay. So now we have the which means that 10 times 7 will give us 170. Okay, so now what next? Okay, so 3 by 4. So 3 times 4 will be. 12. So we have a positive there. Okay. So put a 12 there. Circle it. So we do a simple addition. Mm -hmm. Continue. 0 plus 2. Hey, what will be the answer? 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. 7 plus 1 will be what? 
eight. Okay. 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 So the answer will be what? Okay, 180. So that's good. So 180. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you very much. So let me move to um, the next. Is a request still here? Or oh, request is not here today? Okay, Eruqua, can you hear me? Okay, so now Eruqua, I want you to do the C, which is 12 times 12. Okay, so let me clean the board for you. So twelve twelve times twelve. Okay, so now look I saw it for us twelve times twelve. So where will I draw the circle? Where? On top. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So what what is the what reference number are you using? Ten. Okay. So why do you write your circle above? Eruqua. Above 10. Okay. Okay. So now what next? Okay. Okay, so plus two. Okay. Okay. Then the next one, what? Okay. Mm hmm. And what next? Mm, what next? Okay, so twelve plus two is what? Fourteen, okay. Okay, what next? Okay, making it one forty. Okay, so what next? Okay, so two by the two, which give us what? So plus. So the answer is mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the answer is what? 
144. Thank you, Eruqua. So now you realize that in adding and multiplication is easy, right? With this uh, method, it's easy. So now. Yeah, yeah, you can, it depends on how you can write it. If you can do all in one page, fine. But if you are doing it two page, maybe your handwriting is big, okay? Because I realize you are having difficulty in using the computer. So just write it in your book and you scan it, okay? So I'll put this one there for you. Yeah. Okay, so you write it and then you scan and send it. So now we have one, two... Okay, we have one to J. Okay, one to J. You are supposed to try it. Show work. Now, what I'm interested in is the work. How you show work, please. I've seen that you've not been sending your assignment. Okay, is the assignment that will actually make me know that you understand what you are doing. So when I ask you to submit your work and you don't submit, how will I know that you understand what you are doing? Okay, so try your best and then submit. Okay, submit your work. Show work too. Okay, now, so I want to see this. I'll place it there. That, that will be module three. So I'll put the module three assignment there for you to add. Now you can see here we have multiplication above 100. So it's the same approach that we've done, okay? So now your reference will be what? 100, okay? The topic is above 100. So your reference is 100, as you can see here. So if I'm multiplying 113 times 102, okay? I should be able to come out with the answer, okay? So now, I want someone to do this for us okay so I want to pick someone to do that so now our reference number is 100 we are using 100 as our reference number multiply numbers above 100 so we have 113 times 102 okay so once we are done with this and that will mean that we are true with this model okay then we do the work below okay so i'm going to write one and then i'll ask someone to solve that for us so one one three times um uh one one five okay so let's go to the board let me clean the board. I'll call someone to solve that for us. Then we, we are using 100, multiplying above 100. Okay, so 1, 1, 3 times 1, 1, 5. Okay, who can do this for us? Who can do that? Or should I call? Should I call name? Voluntary, who want to do that for us? Okay, okay, so try for us okay it's 15 it's 5 115 okay this is 115 okay okay mm -hmm. Okay. 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 So my reference number is hundred. 
Okay. Okay. Okay, so I write my plus here and then 13. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so plus 15. Okay. Okay, so 15 to 30, sorry. 15 to 30. Okay. So now you add this 15 to 13. So now, um, simple way you can solve that is because this one, forget about this. I always tell you, you can see that the 13 is in towards. You have two digits, two digits, right? And then 113. So you can think in terms of what the two, two digits. Okay, forget about this one one day. Do you understand? Now you can pick the last number here. Three plus what? Three plus five will give you what? Eight, right? Yeah. yeah. Then one plus this will also give you what? One will give you what? Two. So now when you put them together, mm -hmm. One hundred and twenty eight. Okay, so one hundred and twenty. So one two eight zero zero. Okay, okay, uh huh. So now, uh mm huh. -hmm. Okay, so 13 times 15. So how are you going to do that? Uh -huh. Three times five, which is what? Which is 15, okay. You add which one? The one there. You add it to where? Where will you add it? 15, like this. Eh? You put it in front of the 15, like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. You put the 15, the 15 in front of the 1. Okay, okay. So it should be in front of the 1 like this. 115. Like this. Okay, so I have... Five, one, one. Okay, five, one, nine. One, two, nine, one, five. Okay, the rest do agree with him. Hello, hello, do you agree with you? You sure? 
Okay. So um, what what um, we are having here was um, we have multiplying above hundred. Okay. So we have here one one three and then one o two. Okay. I pick a different number there. Okay. So as you you realize that we have your 113, your 13 will be up. Here, in case of this, I pick 115, okay? So if this, you see your two will also be up, okay? So you do a, add a cross way, okay? So to add your cross way, as you saw there, is your two, 113 plus two, okay? Because this way, when you do this way, will give you 115. Your, you don't understand the 100. Okay, so now, let me explain it further to you. Okay, now, what we are saying is, do you understand the 10? Do you understand the 10? Do you understand the 10, the above 10, then below 10 reference and you are okay with that? Okay. So now with the 100, we are picking a, a higher figure. Okay. So how do you solve that? Okay. So now I have this one that I need to do multiplication. 113. Okay. Uh, let me maximize my screen here. Can you see it where? So I have here 113 one, times 102, okay? Now, the reference number I'm using now is what? 100, okay? Because I multiply a number above what? 100, okay? So it's 100, you get it. So now with this, I ask myself what number that I need to add to 100 that will give me 113, which is 13. So since it's above, I'll put on plus what? 13. Do you understand that one? Rena, do you understand that one? Hello? Okay. 13, okay. So now we do the same thing. Too. I'm asking you that from here, now what number do I need to add to uh, 100 to get to 113, which is what? 13, right? Okay, you understand? I'm seeing that here. We are multiplying 113 by 102, okay? And the reference number we are using here, we are using 100 as our reference number, okay? So you write your reference number down here. Then you see your 113, you ask yourself, what number do I need? Are you okay? So now when I subtract 100 from 113, our answer will be 3, 13, okay? Okay, so your 13, you say when you take 100 from 113, it will be what, 13. Do you understand? Do you understand? Okay, so now the same thing to 102, 200. So what number do I need to add to? to get to 102, which is 2. Okay, so your 2 will be up there. Do you understand up to this point? Okay, so now we do cross way. Okay, we do cross way. So if I'm doing cross way, cross way to this, cross way to this, okay, which means that we are adding third, 113 plus 2. You pick the easy way out, okay? So if I'm adding, I will just add the two to the last number, okay, because it's a single. So one, one plus, 
three two plus three will give me five. That's what we have here. So one one three plus two is one one five because we just add this one to the five. Do you understand? Do you understand? Uh -huh. So one one three plus two is just add your two to the last number and you get your answer, which is one one five. So here you write your one one five here okay now your reference number is what 100 so you multiply this 115 by your reference number okay since it's 100 and there's no digits any number times one is the number so i'll put my hot zero in front of this okay do you understand so now here will be what 11,500. Okay, now you go again. So now we are going to deal with the top one. As will be the same thing we did to the 10. So we are going to add, multiply. Oh, uh, you can't see my screen. Okay, so now we are going to multiply the one in the circle okay which is 13 times what the two okay do you understand so 13 times two will give us what so now the easy way is i'm always saying that we don't need to struggle on in multiplication okay so now you pick your two two times three will give us what two times three will be what Hello. It's, it's 26, I know. It's 26, but I'm saying that to make it easy for you, okay? So it means that you pick this one, 2, and you multiply by 3. 2 times 3 will give us what? We'll give you 6, okay? So you write your 6 there. You write your, sorry. Let me clean this. So you write your six here. Okay. Then two times one will be what? Two times one will be what? Hello. Two times one. Two times one, two. So you write. So the answer is what? 26 okay so that if you don't know 13 times 2 you just do it this way and you will still get the answer okay so now we are going to add the down there okay which one will give us was 6 this one will give us 2 okay then you bring your 5 you bring your 1 you bring your 1 okay do you understand now? Hello? Do you understand now? So you see the answer is what? 100 and what? Well, 11,500 and what? 26. Are you okay now? Hello? When are you okay? Okay, so now I guess all of you, you don't understand what? Your line is not clear. You don't understand, what do you guys don't understand? Tell me. Hello. Is it the multiplication? Is it the 13 times 2 that you don't understand? Hello. You don't understand the one way.
Do you understand what? You see, I've explained it to you, okay? So now, what you what you have to, I can't get to you. I think your line is not clear, okay? Your line is not clear. So um, with this, okay, after this class, you just uh, go over the video again. Eh? I will upload the video, okay? So go over it again, okay? You will get it, okay? So I've taken my time to explain this one to you. So just go over the video. You understand it, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'll upload the question for you guys. Okay. One, one, three, and what? The five. Which five? Hello. Okay, okay. So uh, I believe all of you, you've gotten that, okay? So um, I want you guys, I will place the question there for you guys to solve it for me, okay? So you will see this, you will see this one here, okay? Um, this is what you've done. I'll put this one to this try. So that will be, you give me the answer, okay, which is 70. Try this. So now you can see this ones are what below 100. So if they are below 100, instead of it going up, it should come down, okay? A to D, they are below 100. So you write them down. It shouldn't go up okay so i'll upload everything there so try and go over next week we can move to module four and this is what we'll be doing please try and revisit all that you've done so far okay we are adding more to so next week what we'll be doing is to uh multiply numbers above and below so you get a question that you have some above, some below, like the one you see here. We have what 97 times 125. You can see here some count it will be coming down up. Okay, so we will go through these challenges. We solve that by the time that we are through with this. I believe your math skills will be sharpened. Okay, and then you multiplying things wouldn't be difficult for you anymore. Okay. Uh, we have a lot of models to go through, almost like 20. But when we are done with up to model 10, okay, I believe up to model 10, you will be in the position to do so many things. Okay. Um, checking answers now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we will end module 10, okay? You will end module 10. There are a lot of modules to cover. But in this series, you will end module 10. But module 5 is another interesting thing. So try and learn what now you are checking your answers. If anyone gives you answer to a question, you should be able to prove okay using the shortcut method maybe you are solving a mass you've gotten your answer how do i got this answer you should be able to check your answer and see that whether you are right or wrong okay so module two is simply to check your answers so you are going to prove your answers that this thing that i'm writing that there's no way a teacher will mark me wrong and then you can prove to the teacher why you got this answer okay so module five is a nice way uh, multiplying using any reference number 
Okay, now we are only using 10 and 100. Now you move to where you can use any reference number because the idea is for you to solve. Yeah, you should be able to solve thousand and also you go away where you can use any reference number like 20, the 50. So you should be able to solve any multiplication question after you uh, been able to go through module uh, module six. Okay, then we move on to module seven. Let me show you what you'll be doing in module seven. Now with the module seven, what we'll be doing is multiplying lower numbers. Okay, so now you realize we have numbers. We've already done something like that before. Um, this one is not going to be too difficult for you, like 6 times 4 and all those things. You should be able to instantly give the answer, okay? So, lower numbers sometimes is tedious for you, but I don't think this model will be able to go through um, decimal. Let me see. Can we go through decimal? Let me see if we have a decimal. Yeah, working with decimal is another thing. That is nice. Okay, multiplying by 11. Okay, <laughs> multiplication by 11 is nice. There is a simple way of doing that without a sweat. So if you give me any number times 11, I don't need to struggle with giving you the answer. So we learn the secret and then you'll be able to uh, solve any number as you want. Okay, so all depend on how fast you guys are. If you are very fast, we can combine two models and then you move faster because now you've gotten the basics the rest oh realize that will be adding will be adding so what i want you to do is to practice now multiplying decimal numbers okay it's nice how to learn how to multiply decimals it's very nice okay they are digits what is the digit that you see here? it's your multiplication but you know a mass Every, it's not all multiplication, but the multiplication play a key role in, in mathematics. Okay, so your decimal and everything. But we have a lot of things that you can learn after we we are done with module ten. Okay, now using two reference numbers. Now we realize that we are increasing what we are doing. Okay. So you can have two reference numbers like this, okay? So you see that things are getting tougher and tougher here, but it's easy. So if you're able to learn the first one that we've done so far, and when you get to module 10, you just only learn that part that we are adding, using a fraction as multiple. Now, you have a fraction. Everything in mass is like 100 times Three or oh, three whole number one over two. How do you do that? Do you get it? And these are the question that comes in your um, objective. Choose this, and you see all those things. And you don't need to waste my time using your. You see it. You should be able to tell the answer. So I have this one here. Forty-six, four forty-six whole number, and then you have your two, one over two. How do you solve this one? Okay, so we, we have to plan division and everything is there. Okay, but in this series, we will end here. Okay, but if you are able to go through with this and then using the same principle and solve fractions and all those things, decimals without using calculator, I have given you a number, seven whole number, one over this thing times something. How do we do that? Multiplication is like that. Mass is about what? Multiplication, addition, division. Okay. And what? Subtraction. And we are doing everything here. So these are the concepts you need when you are solving any mass problem. Do you understand? Hello? Yeah. So... We have a lot to learn, okay? And I'm ready to teach you everything, okay? For you to understand math very well. And you should be able to solve any math question. 
without using calculator. And now when we are done with all those things, now you come back how you can use this in your programming. So we are talking about robotics. So how are you going to apply this? So there are a whole lot of things that you need to learn. But I want you to grab the concept very well. When you understand, so practice. After this class, don't just go and sleep. Just begin to pick any number. Try it yourself. I'm giving you assignment online. You need to, because what you are doing, you will need them in your class. Every call that you are, you need them. They need to beat. You thought? Yeah, yeah, I will add it. Assignment is not there. So after this class, I will put the assignment there. Okay, so please, there's a lot to learn. So I want you guys to do this. You are fortunate you are having this course. In your school, you won't learn this. Your teacher might not know these techniques you are learning. So it's a bonus for you. Okay, it's not all schools that they win, they will teach you this. Okay, you've been doing maths in your school, but you don't do in this way. So take this course very serious. You need it in your school and you'll be champion in mathematics. You'll be solving maths than nobody's business. Okay, so what I need from you guys is to constant practice. Okay, I believe I can get that from you guys. Okay, so practice well. So next week, if you're able to impress me, what we can do is we can finish two models. And then if you're able to, because within four to five weeks, if you're able to finish this, I can add a bonus model, which is module 11, which will do a lot of things. Okay, so learn hard, impress me, and I can add maybe one or two models for you you guys okay 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 so um see you next week i'll upload the the assignment and please try and i uh, uh, upload your assignment when i because it helps me to know what whatever we are doing you really understand and yeah yes okay so don't just write the answer for me i don't need the answer I want the steps that you are using. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Yeah, you can log out. Bye. Bye. Bye.